Alright guys, welcome back, it's the Black Jamba, and recently I was asked to cover the new rank system in Dota 2, so I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you guys. It's very simple, yet at the same time, not simple at all. So first off, the rank season, let's read it and I'm gonna go word for word, let's just figure out what it is first. Rank season, in this update we've reworked how the matchmaking, how the matchmaking rating system works for both ranked and unranked players. Uh, that's weird, why would they put in unranked players, you know, if they don't play ranked, they don't need a rank, but I guess, whatever. Everybody needs to play rank now, guys. Changing to a six-month seasonal system. The regular season will ensure that MMR is both recent and accurate for all players, which will lead to better quality games for everyone. Th notice they said they reworked the matchmaking rating system. They did not rework MMR. So after you play a game of Dota 2, you're still going to get MMR. You're either going to gain or you're going to lose MMR. See, my suggestion was that if they're going to change like the rating system, personally, I always thought that they need to raise how much MMR you're going to get because Dota 2 games take longer than your average other like no, or, like other game, you know. And I have a bunch of comparisons for this, guys. Just get ready. You know, I've done my research, nigga. I know what I'm doing. I'm out here, guys. But uh, yeah, anyway, so basically, they didn't change the MMR system. They cha they just changed like. If you get to 1k now you'll have like progress so you know you're getting closer to 1k instead of like I need to get a thousand MMR like that's crazy you have to win 400 games in order to get like up 1k MMR it's just you know if you're a good player yeah you can do it but it's gonna take a lot of time all right so the next part during each season all players will earn a medal for their pro blah, for their profile based on a peak skill for that season there are seven different medals Within each medal, there are five stars of progress to earn towards the next medal. Your current medal, as well as your previous season medal, will, de will be displayed to all players before each match. Okay, so what we're looking at here is they've divided up the... They basically just took everybody from 1 to 7k and are like, Okay, look, we're going to put seven new medals, like just seven logos, medals, emblems, whatever you guys want to call them. Four of them will be basic, and three of them will be top tier. One of them has like a rapier in it. That's like top, top tier. But uh, pretty much all they did was just split up the MMRs, 1 through 7k, and now made it a system where you have to progress by medals. And in between each rank, instead of winning 400 games, whoops, I mean, instead of winning 40 games, because in Dota 2, in order to move up a rank, you have to win 40 games to gain a 1,000 MMR, but every loss sets you back, and every win moves you forward, it's insane, but if you can do that, that's, that's good, but now I guess they made it easier, because once you win a certain amount of MMR, you move up a star, you go, uh, let's say you're uh, bronze one, you know, once you win a couple games, like let's say you win two, three games or something like that, you go to bronze two, and then bronze three, bronze four, bronze five, and then you get promoted to silver, and then you get the diamond, and then you get to like platinum and shit like that. And that's pretty much what this matchmaking system is. They just, instead of just it being old bland number system that they always use, now they added in, you know, basically the MMR system got cosmetics, you know what I'm saying? This is an arcana for the new, <laughs> for our MMR system, guys. All right, at the start of each season, players will recalibrate MMR seeded by their previous seasons. MMR. Uh, your current historical preseason MMR value will be recorded, selectable in your profile, rank systems will continue to be able to track their current season MMR value. To give everyone a chance, the first season will begin in two weeks. That's kind of crazy. I like how they're like, oh, first season begins in two weeks. Ooh, mic drop. But Dota 2, guys, I'm sorry, I hate to tell you guys this, but this system, obviously, it's not original. Games have been using this system for years now. I remember the first game that I played that actually was like I tried to play competitive. Not like competitive, like ooh, let me go pro, but like I tried to be good at was Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 had this league play system where every time you'd win a game, you'd gain points, you know? And depending on how many games in a row you'd win, you'd keep moving up your division. And then you'd go from Division 1 to Division 2 to Division 3 to like Platinum. Oh, Division 4, Division 5, Division 6, to like Diamond, oh my god, and then you'd be Master, and then you'd be Prestige Master, you know? And it was really interesting and really fun, and I, that's why I really like playing Black Ops 2. Obviously, it stopped, because, you know, Call of Duty's only good for one year, I guess. So, uh, what we have here, Dota 2 is just, it's conforming. Dota 2 is finally giving in and saying, look, alright, maybe our match may, our matchmaking system is a little outdated. And maybe it needs some work. So what they're doing is they're just adjusting to the industry standard. And I'm going to go through a couple games that have this uh, matchmaking system and uh, that I played. And I'm just going to break it down for you guys. The first game that I can think of 
that has a matchmaking system is Overwatch, okay? Okay, Overwatch has this uh, skill rating system where every win, Overwatch games last anywhere between 5 to 20 minutes. So every win in an Overwatch game gives you anywhere from 20 to 25, 26, 27, sometimes you get 30 per win in a game. And you're basically moving your way up all the way from 1,000 to four or five thousand I think five thousand is the max and it's grandmaster and pretty much what it is is you have 500 skill points to reach the next level and then you continue to go up by 500 until you reach the final level so let's say you start at silver you go up by 500 instead of being 1500 now you're 2000 oh now you're gold now 2500 now you're platinum uh 3000 now you're diamond you know what i'm saying 3500 master 4,000 Grandmaster. So that's pretty much it. It's it's like a 500 skill level. Uh, it's very bare bones, and there's no in between like five star system. But I like this system because it's very. It feels rewarding, you know. Because each game is like you know you can go on some serious win streaks in an hour, you know. Whereas Dota 2, in an hour you're probably still in the same game trying to figure out how you're gonna beat this techies until you realize that it's not even worth it, and then you abandon it, and then you just wasted all your time. So Overwatch gives you like 20 rank MMR and so does Dota 2, but the games aren't the same length, but whatever. Uh, next, now I'm going to talk about Paladins. Alright, Paladins has this other rank system. You start at Bronze, and then you go Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond. And then there's Master and Grandmaster, so pretty much the same layout. But Paladins is a lot closer to what Dota 2 just did, where they have the five star, uh, they have the five uh, levels in between each rank so you have to actively progress through each level in order to get your rank up but the interesting thing here is that like I said just like in overwatch there are numbers in between each game so like you're basically counting up by I think it was 25 or 50 something like that and you're basically going up in between ranks and moving up with numbers until you reach the Grandmaster or whatever high you want to get and once again the difference between this and Dota 2 is Dota 2 games are much longer Alright, so Paladins, you'll be done with the Paladins game quick, while as Dota 2, you'll still be playing the same game, and still farming for the same items. Uh, now my next comparison is going to be Rocket League, guys. So I play a lot of Rocket League in my free time. Uh, Rocket League has this crazy rank system. Look, you pl first play 10 placement games, then it'll place you anywhere between Bronze, Silver, sometimes you get lucky to place Gold, you know? So Bronze, what you do is, Rocket League, there's no number system. There's, instead of making it 5 ranks... No, no, no. Rocket League, there's no number system. So what you do is you start at Bronze 1, right? And then all you do is win a game. And then maybe that one game that you won will move you up to Bronze 1, Division 2. So in between each thing is five divisions. So Rocket League's a lot harder to rank up, and it's really annoying. Because Rocket League, you start at Bronze 1, and then you go Division 1. Bronze 2, Bronze 1, Division 2. Bronze 1, Division 4. And then once you go Bronze 1, Division 5... Then you become bronze too. Obviously, if the game sees that you're a little above your skill level, it'll move you up to bronze two a little faster, bronze three. But the thing that's broken about Rocket League is once you get to bronze three, you go bronze three division one, bronze three division four, and then once you get to bronze three division four, so basically like in the fifth, the fourth star in Dota two, it's really hard to get to the next level. The game is very unforgiving and. Let's say to move up one division, you have to win two, three games in a row. Once you get to this division, it could be anywhere from five to seven games to move up a division. It's really, really, really tedious and annoying. But, you know what I'm saying? You guys get the gist of what I'm saying. So you're just moving up through these rank systems. But, yeah, the Rocket League one is slightly more unforgiving. But, once again, it's not that difficult when you consider that every Rocket League game is five minutes long. So you're going to be getting out, like, 30 games in an hour, dude. So... It's not that big a deal. You, you, you'll be alright. Uh, anyway, so the very last one I want to talk about, the game that Dota 2 feels like they got their most inspiration from is, uh, you guys guessed it, League of Legends. So League of Legends not only has three, six ranking systems where it's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and challenger. Now all Le Dota 2 did was add a seventh tier. Alright guys, just get this. They added a seventh tier. And that's it. And... Uh, League of Legends when you play there's still you get MMR kind of like MMR you get numbers based upon how much games you win You're basically going up in numbers, but the thing is league games don't take as long. So it's you know, you understand 
But yeah, in between each rank, you start at bronze one, bronze two, three, four, and five divisions in in each uh, rank. So basically, Dota 2 photocopied this shit, guys. You have no idea. So this system in League of Legends, it resets once every like uh, eight months or something like that. There's a new update or a new season that starts out. Yeah, I think it's every eight months. And then there's like a three month, there's like a month off or something like that. I can't remember the last time I updated. Or maybe it's like a full year for a season. Either way, Dota 2 basically is doing the same thing, where they go six months, and then they're going to reset. And here's the issue with this, guys. Here's my main big issue, why I'm comparing them to all these games. Because all these games have flaws, guys. There's issues with them. In Dota, in these games, I realize something. No matter how high you climb in rank in Overwatch, like, let's say I finish a season at, like, 3,000. That's Diamond. The next season, when I calibrate and I do my placements again, all it does is place me, like, two to 300 up or down near diamond so sometimes i'll start 2900 sometimes i'll start 3100 you know it's not anything serious so like whenever you're recalibrating you're not starting fresh guys it's gonna be the same mmr that you've always had but you're just gonna have a new season around it and they added new medals and shit Ooh, to intrigue the little kids that are playing dota 2 now dota 2 is just it's just becoming more and more child oriented and just child friendly it's becoming more like the characters are becoming more cancerous but i'll talk about that in my gameplay patch video or whatever but this is really an issue for me, guys, and this, this shit just bothers me because I really like Dota 2. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that's the video, guys. The rank system, it's very straightforward. It's just medals. That's it. They're just adding in medals and seasons. So you get a medal every time you go up in MMR, and you lose a medal whenever you go down in MMR. And it's going to be on your profile forever so people can see how bad and shit you are. And they can shit talk you even more now. So instead of me call, me being called a 2K piece of shit, now they're going to call me a silver piece of shit. Thanks. Thanks, Dota. Thanks, guys. Uh, but yeah, that's the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I uh, helped you guys understand this a little bit or confused the shit out of you. Who knows, man? Uh, but yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notifications on, ad block off, and I'll see you guys. I don't know. Next time I make a video. I don't know. I guess shit. I don't, ending these things is like the worst thing ever. Am I at 10 minutes at least? Ah, excellent.